I spent a couple of days in New Orleans checking out the French Quarter. There are a lot of little shops down the main street, pretty much exclusively geared towards tourism. It was an interesting town to walk around in, and it's definitely designed as a walking city. The streets are narrow and mostly cobblestone, and it's usually packed full of people, so driving is very difficult. I got in about a week after Mardi Gras, so they were probably still cleaning up. All I really saw of Louisiana was New Orleans, but even then, there was plenty to see. My first planned stop was to the National World War II Museum. They had a lot of great exhibits there, and much of it was geared towards the D-Day invasion, although they did also have a section for the war in the Pacific leading up to the dropping of the atomic bombs in Japan. It really gives you a sense of how much effort went into that single battle. Months of preparation, misleading radio communications, decoys all along the coast of France, and a tremendous loss of life all led to the victory that allowed the Allied forces to take the fight to Nazi Germany. The amount of ships, planes, and soldiers that went into combat that day is staggering. They had displays for all the kinds of weapons that were being used by the different factions, and they had a couple of great films about the war that they were showing. Next, I went to the Audubon's Insectarium, a museum all about bugs. It was actually very interesting, and they had so many different displays of all kinds of insects. They had lots of live bugs going about their business in their little habitats, including some ants gathering leaves to expand their colony. There was a cafe that served regular food for those who weren't squeamish, as well as more interesting food for those who really weren't squeamish. One of the most interesting parts was the art gallery. Works of art made using dead bugs of various colors, typically all from a particular region depending on what the picture was, as well as butterflies of all varieties in a swirl of color. Then the last exhibit was the butterfly garden. They had the larvae and the chrysalids in the first room, and then you walk through the airlock that helps keep the butterflies in. It was like a Japanese garden with a pond and some butterfly koi, and there were finches flying around inside, and then a bunch of different butterflies. The whole insectarium was really cool, and definitely worth a visit.